Big trash. Drop toe hold. Heroin hits the ramp. Nose first. Heroin's in a long out lane. White trash with a chair. Heroin, beat the chair. Chair, meet Heroin. Well, once again, we're not going to be seeing a wide variety of your uh, Greco Roman wrestling here uh, this evening. Good God, it was a battlefield just getting up here. Well, I can imagine. Flying chairs, flying stop signs, and on flying barbed wire. So you uh, go go to the South 40 on that one. Well, you know, it, it was everything I could do to make it up here to the booth. Now, heroin and white trash, of course, it was just a couple of weeks ago that we saw heroin and white trash involved in that thumbtack encounter, which was rather disgusting. I'm glad I missed that one. Thumbtacks are not deserve to be in wrestling. Hardcore none was standing. Now the barbed wire, looks like heroin is trying to wrap the barbed wire around the head of white trash. And there's not a lot in the head of white trash to begin with in the first place. Oh, dear, this is, this is grim, bad, bad news for white trash. Oh, good grief, that's disgusting. He's raking the barbed wire deep into the forehead of White Trash. Now, White Trash is hardcore as they come, but he may have met his match in hardcore supremacy in heroin. Hardcore supremacy. I don't know if that's quite the red badge of courage to be wearing, but it certainly is red, as we're about to see. Well, definitely to these guys, it's something they live and die for, and I still get to this day do not understand it. But it's, but it's unbelievable what they're doing here, wrapping White Trash in the barbed wire. Now putting the boots to White Trash. I mean, heroin wants to take out White Trash early on here. And, uh, oh, barbed wire, I don't know. I'm, I kind of miss the old front chancery. But without, without trying to bury the whole hardcore concept, it's something that a lot of fans around the world really dig. I mean, there are a number of Japanese promotions who do nothing but these matches. And even in America, well, obviously, I mean, ECW was built on uh, the, some of the fun fundamentals of hardcore if you will forgive the sort of contradiction of terms there, fundamentals and hardcore. And uh, now you have Bobby, excuse me, heroin. The former Bobby Hayes. With that stop sign, oh no! Oh no, that's the stop sign, that's the finish move. That's the end of White Trash and he got it used on him. Uh, White Trash is bleeding a gusher after the barbed wire attack from heroin, plus the stop sign. Maybe White Trash needs a quick ring in the damn stop sign to the ring. Well, it would uh, certainly prevent him from getting killed with it. One would think so. White Trash with his uh, making whoopee hockey jersey on. And uh, he, poor guy's going to get blood all over his jersey. Well, all type of cheer should hopefully take care of that. But right now, I think White Trash has uh, some higher uh, priorities right now than getting it, it's his sticky, jersey clean. Sticky, it, it, the ball yeah, wire was know, sticking, to the, sticking out of his head and, and hanging there. That, that's gross. Once again, a fine grasp of the obvious. I would suggest that White Trash just stay down for the count before some serious injury takes place in this match right now. Heroin is out for blood, and it looks like he's already got it. Look at Heroin with those, the Heroin a southpaw, a left-hander, with those, those vicious left hands, and White Trash is reeling. White Trash getting demolished in this match. And a low blow, good kick, good low blow down stairs from Heroin. Taking my breath away, actually, I do believe the ref might even actually consider stopping this match. Heroin with that stop sign, he's killing White Trash. I'd say that there's a concussion with every shot of that stop sign, and that's not an under... He's cutting him! He's cut the Zeno where that stop sign's been! Let me steal a quote from Jim Ross. Stop the damn match! He, that, that stop sign has been thrown around in beer, been busted over many men's head. All kinds of germs and bacteria going right into the head of White Trash. Uh, anyone for tetanus? Oh, goodness. And heroin now. Uh, uh, the referee there, he just better get out of the way or he may be involved in this matchup a lot quicker than he wants to be. And since it's a hardcore match, you can actually do a number on the referee. And considering this referee is fairly new, matter of fact, looks like he's 11 years old, I think that might be quite an indoctrination in professional wrestling. He was not looking forward to. White Trash up for a pile driver on top of the stop sign. He broke his neck. I, Steven, he broke his neck. White Trash is down. This is over. This is over. Yeah, no kidding. I think White Trash could have could have lost could have won this could have lost this match earlier on. But after all, the brutality dished out by heroin. 
Oh, I don't know. White Trash may wear their hardcore title, well, not hardcore title, Red Badge of Courage very proudly, but not tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. quite sure how proud heroin is of what he's done to poor white trash white trash is in a heap a bloody heap on the floor heroin chasing away all referees trying to get poor white trash